Hey guys, Sushi Stew back on here tonight. I'm going to teach you how to dingleberry your Blackberry playbook and gain root access. So download the links in the description and we'll get started. Dingleberry is what we need first. N remember, this is on the rootable operating system only. I'm doing this for OS 2.0. 0.04869. There is a 1.0 that you can root. So, download Dingleberry first, or all of them if you want. But uh, make sure you start with Dingleberry. Hit continue. Follow the instructions in Dingleberry. File sharing on. Wi-Fi sharing on. Development mode on. You'll have to input password. There's a password that I've been using and select jailbreak. So sent to the device. There we go. Deploying the payload. Just take a few seconds. Press continue. So here you see the next step. So you want to turn on Blackberry Desktop Manager. You want to go to device backup in the backup you want to do custom so selected data only this is what we're doing it's going to load up the settings that we're going to choose my computer's slow there we go settings that's what we're backing up and choose backup so there we go it's creating a backup as you can see a .bb file it has the date on it it's only the settings the file shouldn't be too big so it won't take that long once it starts Almost done, come on. There we go. So backup is complete. We close that. We go down. Back to Dingleberry. Choose the file that you just backed up. So you need to go and find that one. Today's date, January, is the one we did. Open, open. Dingleberry will load it up down here. There it is. And then it tells you a new file, .bbb Dingleberry, has been created. So we want to go back to our desktop manager, device. bring it down so you can see device hit restore and you want to choose today's dingleberry hit restore I'm not going to do mine mine's already rooted once the restore is finished you'll have to disconnect the playbook restart when that's all finished you can come back, turn on development mode, make sure Wi-Fi sharing and file sharing is back on.
we're going to come back here and we're going to hit Dingle SSH once your playbook has restarted. We're looking for this box and this is the hash symbol we're looking for. If you get that, your playbook is pretty much rooted. So we can now gain access to the root menu once this. If you see this, that means you've tried it on more than one device. I've tried it on two devices now, two playbooks, but you're looking for this symbol. If you don't get that, it's failed. But that's what you're looking for. So we'll leave that up there. Once you get that symbol, then we can go to the next step, which is downloading WinSCP, which is this program. Once you download that, we're going to open up Putty Gen, which is inside your start menu. Go to start, go to WinSCP, in that there's key tools, and inside that there's Putty Gen. So open up Putty Gen, click on load. We're going to go back here to the Dingleberry file. You want to go down here, select All Files, look at All Files. So you can see there's many more files here. You want to choose RSA file, not the RSA.pub, but the RSA. Open. You're going to hit save private key. Once that's done, click yes on the prompt. Save it as, I don't know, playbook.ppk. You can name it whatever you like, but playbook.ppk is the easiest. That's what I saved mine is. Once that's saved, you can close that down. Make sure you got winscp here. And we'll go through the files that we need for this. So, host name, one six nine dot two five four dot zero dot one. Username, dev user. Here we're going to open up that key we just made, playbook. PPK, there it is. Open. Here, file protocol. SCP, make sure you choose that. Then we're going to choose SCP shell over in the environment tree over on the left side. Here we have a new window. Unselect lookup user groups. Here's what we're changing. Now, I'll leave a little file that shows you the settings that we need. Here it is. You're going to copy this. Copy. Put that here in the shell. Paste. And choose login. We're waiting for the session to log in as dev user. And here we have root access to our playbook. And this is the playbook here, dev user account. And go in 
to the root menu of the playbook. Being slow, here we are, the root menu. Apps, this is where all the apps are kept. I have lots of apps installed, so there's a pretty big list. So there you are, root access to your playbook. This is where we can start changing things inside here. So have fun dingling and rooting your playbook. Peace out, guys. Talk to you next time.